Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at the S10 scooter from G-Force. Very unique looking scooter. Before we get into it, please subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Hit that thumbs up button and also ring that notification bell for future notifications of our videos. It's a really cool scooter. This is a 48 volt with a 12 amp hour battery. It will give you about 30 miles of range if you take it easy on the lowest power setting. Top speed is about 20 miles per hour, and you get that with a 500 watt motor. Like I said, you get a nice a wide deck here. Put both feet on there. The scooter has a 250 pound weight limit. From our experience though, I do recommend the riders on the lower side probably max it out at 200 pounds as the scooter doesn't have too much power. Definitely takes a while to get up the steepest hills around us. You also have turn signals on this scooter, which is really interesting. Really nice addition. You've got your disc brakes, which do a fairly good job of stopping the scooter. When you do hit the brake too, uh, these lights will light up, letting people know that you are stopping, so it is a functional brake light. In the front, you do have suspension up here, which does a really good job of making the ride nice and smooth. You've got some fat tires in the front and in the back, which also contribute to the smooth ride of the scooter. It's also got a nice folding mechanism here, so you take this little switch here, pull it up, and then this comes down, and then the handlebars will flip down. The only thing that we think they can improve with the scooter, as far as the folding goes, is there is no clip in the back here. So that way you can clip the handlebars when you do fold it, so that way you can carry it with a handle. So basically it folds and you have to grab the whole scooter by the base. You do have some nice cable management by G-Force. The one thing that we absolutely love, and which is really unique to this scooter, is the way they integrated the headlight. So it's got like a built-in headlight to the frame here. And we'll power this on in a second. We'll show you how bright that is. But you have a daytime running light almost. And then you also have your, your bright light as well. G-Force branding. Uh, you do have safety adjustment range here, they call it. On the handlebars, letting you know how high you can go. And this will just flip up here. And then you can raise and lower the handlebars to your liking. You have some nice handlebars. On this scooter, the grips are nice and grippy, I guess, if you want to say. You do have your brake lever here on the left, and then your right brake lever here. You have your control panel to turn on the bike. You just want to hold this middle button here, and that'll come on. And it does have a nice display, and it's built right in. Basically, this serves as the clamp to hold your handlebars in. So I really like that design, kind of like a two-in-one kind of thing. You have a couple levels of power here. You have three, three levels. You have your battery indicator, charge indicator here. It does take about four hours to charge the scooter. You have a horn. And if you check out the headlight here, this is kind of the daytime running light, if you want to call it, that is always on. And then to turn your brights on, click on that. And then as you can see, that middle part turns on and it is a very bright light. So I really like what they did with the headlight there. These are your turn signals. So you can see those light up. Really, really cool. And to turn it off, just click it. We'll do the right one as well. All right. There is no front indicator for your turn signal, so it's only in the rear, but that's to be expected on, on most of these scooters too that have turn signals. So what we'll do is we'll turn this off, take a look at the right-hand side here, your thumb throttle, which is pretty smooth. Like I said, guys, us being bigger riders at around 260 pounds, performance isn't that great, especially going up hills for your bigger rider. But I'd assume anybody less than 200 pounds, maybe 175 would be the preferred weight for this. Uh, I'm sure you get some good performance out of this scooter. But for us, it's really not that impressive. Your charge port is right here. It does come with a charger, and I believe it takes about four hours to charge a scooter from empty to full. It got a pretty unique scooter, uh, more geared towards, especially with the power that it has, uh, geared towards the lighter riders. It will still work. It definitely still pulls us along, being at 260 pounds, but we definitely recommend 200 pounds or less. This scooter comes in at just under $900 on GeForce's website. I can also save you some money by using our affiliate link, and I will 
include that in the description below. So not too shabby for what it is. Definitely a nice little city commuter. But if you guys have any questions for us, please leave them in the comments below. We'll be more than happy to answer them for you. But until next time, thanks for watching our videos. We appreciate you guys. Peace out.